Hi, I'm Dan Raywood at IT Security Guru, today with Phil Dunkelberger, who's a board member of the FIDO Alliance. Phil, the FIDO Alliance has been kind of up and running for about 12 months now. Um, give us a sort of brief description of what it actually is. FIDO Alliance is a group of companies that came together to try to enable stronger uses of authentication. Uh, really go after the password problem. Uh, mm -hmm. Passwords are brittle, multiple uses, uh, cause a lot of issues with data breach, etc. Mm -hmm. This group of companies came together 12 months ago, actually before that, but really formalized themselves 12 months ago to really go try to make better use of stronger authentication methods, whether it be biometrics or pins, trusted computing modules, any of those things that can better uh, make the infrastructure stronger. And what you just told me is you went from six partners 12 months ago and up to 100 possibly by the end of the end of February. Yeah, we've got six partners uh, that started and announced at RSA last year. Mm -hmm. This year at RSA and the one year anniversary, we're going to be between 80 and 100 partners. Wow, and that's some really big names coming in. I know it's RSA last week and I understand also people like Netflix are involved and uh, Dell and Lenovo you just told me as well. And obviously one of the parts of FIDO Alliance is it's a back-end infrastructure, isn't it, that allows all authentication mechanisms to be used continuously but just much stronger. Uh, uh, way of working, is that right? Yeah, fun fundamentally what you have is you have a client-server infrastructure that uh, uses a standard way of plug and play. Mm -hmm. So it's a protocol, much like the Wi-Fi protocols or the internet protocols that allow things to seamlessly integrate. And the idea being that you've got a lot of strong elements like fingerprint readers built into phones now, you've had them built into tablets and, and PCs for years, you've got voice biometrics coming on very strong, uh, and then, of course, you've had for years these secure elements of uh, the TPM chips. Mm -hmm. All of these contribute to a strong capability out at endpoints. The tough thing is, has been the cost of hooking them up to the back end. Mm -hmm. In other words, plug and play. So as we remember all the problems of hooking up printers, as an example, and other things just in our own homes, mm -hmm. this gives uh, enterprises, web services, and mobile users the ability to seamlessly plug and play with services like banking, payments, uh, medical records, all of those things can be much more securely accessed and moved by this authentication protocol. Great stuff. And finally, you know, we've seen some really big breaches recently, Target, Adobe recently as well. Um, you know, that's one thing I'm trying to get around is using password problem that people do use the same passwords. And into the concept of using biometrics, you said their voice encryption, just ways of doing using things, but also using what you've already got use, with, with new methods. Is that the concept? Yeah, the concept is, is let's not go recreate the wheel. We've spent a lot of time and money inventing great, strong security things at endpoints, and then undoing that by the cost of hooking them up mm -hmm. from a proprietary standpoint. Uh, we found that just like networking, just like Wi-Fi, uh, just like plug and play for printers, if you make it simpler for people to use, and the benefits much broadly greater to an ecosystem, you're going to find a lot of uptake for it. I think that speaks to the growth of the FIDO Alliance. I think it speaks to where the industry wants to go ultimately when you think beyond just usernames and passwords. Mm -hmm. You know, you think beyond the things like the Internet of Things. We don't scale today to cloud capability with authentication. How are we ever going to get to, you know, 3x the users on the Internet in 10 years? Mm -hmm. This is a logical, rational building block of being able to replace usernames and passwords and ultimately to be able to augment digital certs and the ability for machine-to-machine -machine authentication. Sure, and it's, uh, well, I say, get massive support as well, which is fantastic. So, you know, all the best for the future. Thank, thank you, thank you very much. much. Thank you.